Okay, on this problem, they want us to find the slope of the parabola. They give us the equation y equals 3x squared on that, at that point right there, 2 comma 12. They also want us to find the equation for a tangent line of the parabola at 2 12. So here's some preliminary information that we need in order to do this particular problem. At the beginning of this uh, section, I talked about difference quotient. We're going to use difference quotient on this particular problem. I also talked about what it means to, to have a tangent. So if you want to find the slope of a curve, ultimately what you do is you take two points, you find the slope that goes to the two points, you bring one point very, very close to where one point is on top of the other. When that happens, that means that you're going to have the exact slope on that curve. So you can imagine this would be our parabola, 3x squared, and then the 212 point would be right here. So I want to find the slope of that straight line first of all and then I want to find the actual equation of that straight line. So that's visually what's happening on this particular problem. This formula is the one that we want to follow in order to get the equation and also the slope. So first we're going to find x1. x1 is given to us as 2. So the first thing I want to do is plug the 2 in for uh, x1 there. So I do that and that's what I get next. Now, I want to take a look at the two pieces that I have here because eventually I'm going to have to put in two pieces of information and be able to simplify it further. I mentioned before that you're, you want to find the, uh, the slope by bringing one point in very, very close to the other one. So what we're going to eventually do is we're going to put a zero in for h because the distance between those two points are going to be minimized and it's going to go to zero. Now I can't just plug a zero in now because I'm dividing by zero. So what I have to do is I'll have to do some algebra in order to fix this to where the h is going to go away and then I can plug zero in and I won't be dividing by zero on that. So I need to do, find two things, f of 2 plus h and I need to find f of 2. Now f of 2 has already been provided for us already. That's actually going to be 12. What this is saying, they want to find the y value when x is equal to 2. Well, the y value when x is 2, that's the point that we have that we're given earlier, that's going to be 12. So automatically, I can write this as f of 2 plus h and then minus 12 over h. So now we have to figure out what f of 2 plus h is. In order to do this, we have to do a little bit review of precalculus. Now, what this means is this is telling us you want to put 2 plus h in any x that you see in the original one. The y can be interpreted as f of x. So this is saying put this in in place of the x. So if we do that, we have 3 times 2 plus h squared. Now, with calculus again, one of the hard parts about calculus is trying to remember everything that you've done before in previous classes. So this, here's, a, here's a situation where you have to know algebraically uh, how to deal with that one. First of all, I don't want to see any of you guys making this mistake. Don't multiply the 3 inside the parentheses. You can't do that because you got to square it first. You got to follow your order of operations. So you can't do that. Second, I don't want to see anybody squaring the 2 and squaring the h and that's your final answer. This means that you got to multiply 2 plus h times 2 plus h. So let's work it out and, and do it correctly so in that way you guys will know the correct procedure uh, in order for doing that. So. We're going to write it out like this. Then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply these two together first, and then I'll multiply it by 3. So we're going to do a FOIL method on these two. So I'll leave the 3 on the outside for now. 2 times 2 is 4. I get 2h and 2h. That gives me a 4h in the middle, and then plus h squared. Then I'll multiply through by 3. I get 12 plus 12h plus 3h squared. So this, this expression right here, this is actually what f of 2 plus h is equal to. And this is actually what I'm going to substitute into the formula when I plug everything back in. So now I'm going to go back to the formula that we did. I'm going to replace the f of 2 plus h with this whole thing here. So I have 12 plus 12h plus 3h squared. I'm going to label this. This is our f of 2 plus h. Then I have the 12 is already there already that I did earlier. That's f of 2 and I have all this over h. Okay, well, what I can do next, once I put this in, you're always going to be able to get something to cancel out. So the 12s are going to cancel and what, we left, what we're left with here is 
things that have H in it left over, and this is always what's going to happen. You should always end up with terms that have H in it, so that way you can factor out an H and cancel, and that's exactly what we want to do here. I want to factor out an H from the middle ones, so if I do that, if I take out an H, I get 12 plus 3H, and then I have an H on the bottom, the two H's, we're going to cancel. So you want to do that step because, again, we talked about that you're eventually going to put in a zero for H, and you've got to have that gone from the bottom, that way you're not dividing by it anymore. H's are gone. So now I'm left with 12 plus 3H, but I mentioned that this distance is going to be minimized. That's going to go to zero. So you're going to do 12 plus 3 times zero, and that's going to give us 12. So 12 is the slope of the parabola. So we can use 12 now in order to find the equation of the tangent line. So in order to do the equation of the tangent line, we're going to have to go back to, again, something you've seen previously. It's the point-slope formula. That's Whenever you have a slope, which we have here 12, and we have a point, 2 comma 12, you want to use the point slope formula. So in case you don't remember that one, I'll put that one on the board here. You're going to do y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That's the point slope, slope formula that you want to use on this problem. Your x1 is 2, your y1 is 12, your slope, your m, is going to be 12. So let's plug that in. So y minus 12, 12 times x minus 2. And it depends on your teacher if you, want to, if you can leave it in this form or not. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put it into slope intercept since usually they ask for that. That's a pretty standard format is uh, the uh, y equals mx plus b form. So I'm going to multiply this out. I get 12x minus 24. I'm going to add 12 to both sides. Be careful with the minus sign there and you're going to get 12x minus 12 as your answer. Okay, so this would be the equation for the, the tangent line. So if you were to graph this one, y equals 3x squared, and you were to graph this one, you would see these two lines coming together at one spot, and that point would be 2 comma 12. You should see this line only hitting, just hitting the parabola once, and hitting it at that particular point at 212.